Hi, uh, I'm Susan Parker, and my favorite thing to do is to share my love of the lipid oils, okay? We're not talking about the essential oils, we're talking about lipid oils. And just lipid oils are made up of uh, compounds called fatty acids, and that is most of the oils. But what is so interesting about uh, the types of oils, these are the carrier oils that we have available to us now, is that is the variations are just endless and they're coming on the market all the time. And, and one of the most exciting things is color. Get to my point here. Uh, color um, can tell you quite a lot about an oil. Usually uh, this part I'm talking about. It's called the unsaponifiable part. It's, uh, it's, it's not the fatty acids that make up oh, upwards of 95, 98% of the oil. It's a very small part, but it's the color and the scent and any taste and vitamins, minerals, all those kinds of plant compounds that the plants imbue into the seeds that we press the oil out of. And unsaponifiable compounds uh, mean that they don't become soap. This is a bar of olive oil, okay? We all know we pour olive oil in the kitchen, but this is a bar of all, uh, soap made from only olive oil. It's, a, it's aging now, it's got a little brown spots on it. But what this means is that all those fatty acids were transformed uh, into soap, but what remains in the bar are the uh, unsaponifiables. Now, unsaponifiables are the color. This is some blueberry seed oil. And this is uh, called tucuma oil. It's from Brazil. It's from uh, the, uh, the uh, tropics and the semi-tropics. And here's another green. What's this? This is a carrot seed oil, very green. And even the butters uh, sometimes have color. Uh, this is a sal butter, it's green. This is a campania butter, which is yellow. And all of the color, and of course they each have their own scents, um, are these unsaponifiable compounds. Now, unsaponifiable compounds are what are often refined out of oil. And so, if you want a very kind of a full product with all the uh, potential botanical compounds uh, available to you in your raw materials, if the, depending on the type of products you're making, um, you really want to uh, seek out unrefined oils or oils that aren't overly refined because um, oftentimes, uh, certain types of manufacturers don't want any scent. They don't want any color. They only want those fatty acids that make up 95, 98% of the oil. They don't want the smells and the colors and, and then the little bits of other types of compounds like waxes and phospholipids that are in the unsaponifiable part. And so that is really kind of what I wanted to kind of discuss here today. And I just show you a couple of products. This is a avocado and blackberry seed oil balm. And that's kind of thickened with beeswax. This was, after doing this, it looked very much like an herbal salve. You know, I've done lots of herbal uh, products like uh, comfrey leaf and violet leaves and lemon balm leaves and they look a lot like this but I and after doing this it was like oh what if we try and look at that isn't that amazing this is the same recipe as that with blueberry seed oil to make a light uh, kind of bright green not the kind of darker or herbal greens but of course they're all wonderful and they all bring something natural and healing to our skin. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.